Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on Toned In Entertainment, where we love pop culture. Today, it's time for some more comic book reviews as I continue on with my series I call First Impressions, where I take a look at this week's issue number ones of series that I was interested in, give them a read, and see if they made enough of an impression for me to continue on with. Now this week, there were four comic book series that I was interested in checking out, and I'm gonna kick it off with a new one from Dynamite Comics called Hell Sonya from the Red Sonya series, issue number one. Now I want to preface by saying that when it comes to Red Sonja, there's a lot of stories out there and other than the movie and the Red Sonja Mars Attacks comic book crossover series, I'm not that knowledgeable in the Red Sonja universe. So saying that, when I jumped into Hell Sonja issue number one, I felt extremely lost as we were introduced to a variety of Sonjas that included the gun specialist Blue Sonja, the advanced AI Moon Sonja, and the guardian Purple Sonja. However, I do need to thank writer Christopher Hastings for not only giving us introductions to these alternate Sonya versions, but also easing readers like myself into this story. Now, while the writer Christopher Hastings has put together a story that is interesting, it really is the art done here by Pasquale Corano and color by Kite J. Diaz that for me helps me make sense of what is really going on. And this honestly is a prime example of why I love reading comics because had this just been a paperback story, I think I would have completely been lost. But the art here is not only really great to look at, but also does a great job of bringing Christopher Hastings' story to life. Now, what about the title character, Hell Sonya? Well, unfortunately here in issue number one, we're gonna have to wait to the very last page of this issue to get our very first glimpse of her. Now, as I was writing this review, I was really going back and forth between two different scores, a six, which means it was above average, and a seven, which means it was good. And I actually just kept changing the score, so I think it's only appropriate that I give Hell Sonya issue number one a 6.5 out of 10. So is this issue worth checking out if you're not knowledgeable on the Sonya universe? My advice is to wait until some more issues come out. And if you have a Comixology Unlimited membership, check it out then. Now issue number one did do enough to pique my interest to check out more. However, this is a series I think reading on a month to month basis, I might get lost. So instead, I'm gonna wait until this entire series wraps up and check it out in one shot. Next up, we have a new one from Image Comics. Now this series is planned to be a five part series. So we're gonna take a look at issue number one of Rain and see what type of impression it made. What seemed like it was gonna be a beautiful day in Boulder, Colorado, quickly changed when rain fell from the sky. Now this wasn't your typical rain or even hailstorm, as this rain was so piercing that it killed more than 8,000 people in just over eight minutes in Boulder alone, because what fell from the sky wasn't precipitation, but nails. The main character of this issue goes by the name Honeysuckle and was ready to start a new chapter of her life with her girlfriend Yolanda, who had just arrived and was all set to move in with her. But unfortunately, she was one of the 8,000 that perished in this doomsday-like event. Now on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give issue number one of Rain an 8.5 out of 10. Writer Joe Hill in just one issue not only introduces us to a variety of characters that I quickly grew an attachment to and was intrigued as to where their story was going, but then for the majority wipes them all out with only a very few to continue on with in issue number two. Now I do like the premise of rain and I'm definitely on board to see what we learn about the mystery of why nails are falling from the sky, but also what Honeysuckle's next moves are going to be after losing the love of her life. Next up we have a new one from Marvel Comics. Now this one is part of the Devil's Reign storyline that's currently going on, but it seems to be its own separate story with Superior 4, issue number one. Now, right after Batman, I always thought the villains in the Spider-Man universe were just awesome, and I really wanted to check out this story featuring Doc Ock. In part one of what's planned to be a three issue miniseries, Doc Ock has created a super team of alternate versions of himself that include versions of the Hulk, Wolverine, and Ghost Rider, essentially creating himself a new Fantastic Four that he believes will be unstoppable. Throughout this issue, we'll see Doc Ock and his superior four 
Core team jump over to Earth 5069, where he'll get a shocking revelation after running into the Iron Scab that he might not be as well known as he thought he was. Now, the best part of this issue is when they land on Earth 2092 and battle it out against this alternate Spider-Man. Now, while the Superior Four get what they want here in issue number one, the challenge that awaits them in issue number two could spell doom for this team when they head down to Earth 7214. Now, on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give Devil's Reign Superior Four a six out of 10. The story here is written by Zach Thompson, and it's a simple enough one to follow along, even if you haven't read any of the other comics in the Devil's Reign storyline. Now, is this comic book series something I'm pumped for to continue on with? Well, not necessarily. However, if and when it comes to Comixology Unlimited, I'll be up for reading the rest of this miniseries then. And finally, to wrap up this episode, we're gonna take a look at another one from Image Comics with The Scorched, issue number one. <laughs> Now, I've tried on several occasions to try to jump into the Spawn universe, as I think he's such a really cool character, and I've been looking for a good starting point and for something where I don't feel completely lost. And with the Scorch, issue number one, I might have just found it. In issue number one, there are a variety of spawns here from a gunslinger spawn to a redeemer spawn to medieval spawn to the gruesome plague spawn. And of course, my personal favorite in this issue, she spawn, AKA Jessica Priest. Now, over the 40 plus pages of this issue, writer Sean Lewis and Todd McFarlane give plenty of opportunities for these characters' personalities to shine. The art here is done by Steven Segovia and Paulo Sequeria, and it's powerful, in your face, and makes no apologies for being down and dirty, just like one should come to expect from a Spawn comic. Now, on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give issue number one of The Scorched a 7.5 out of 10. Now, I did find this issue intriguing and entertaining enough for me to want to come back for another go around to see how all these clashing personalities can not only work together, but also how they're going to have to deal with the unique and surprising challenges that will be thrown their way. So if you've been waiting to jump back into the Spawn universe, I think this is not only a good place to start, but you'll probably want to make sure your seatbelt is secured because this series looks like it could be one wild ride. All right, guys, well, that's going to wrap up this episode of First Impressions. Now, for the most part, I think I had some pretty decent reads this week with the four issues that I took a look at, with definitely the standout being Rain. I really did enjoy that story, and I'm definitely looking forward to see how that story is going to evolve over the five issues that it's planned out to be. Now, did you guys read any of the four issues that I reviewed here this week? Or did you read any other number one issues that came out this week that I missed out? Comment down below. And guys, if you like videos like this and all things pop culture, make sure you stay tuned in here to Toned In Entertainment for future videos. Subscribe to the channel. Do it. Go now. Do it now.